So which is worse, being a dog killer or a drag queen? George Santos uh, tells us everything we need to know about the Republican Party. On Tuesday, it came out that uh, George Santos, this is the day before yesterday, that, that George Santos had, uh, on behalf of a uh, disabled veteran who was living in a tent by the side of a road in New Jersey, who had a service dog from, apparently from when he was in the military, um, that he, he still had. Um, the, 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 this, this vet's dog had cancer and needed surgery, and it was uh, apparently operable. I, I don't know the details of it. I don't think any of us do, but, but what we do know is that the surgery was going to cost $3,000, and somehow you know, a friend of this vet said, well, I know this guy who is, you know, he's a politician or he's a local guy running for political office, and he runs a, a pet charity, and uh, his, his name is uh, George Santos, and so... <laughs> Santos meets with the vet, puts up a GoFundMe page, raises $3,000 for the dog to, to get the surgery, and then starts ghosting the vet and keeps the money, right, and steals the money. That was Tuesday. Wednesday, it comes out that George Santos, when he was living in Brazil, was a drag queen and performed in a number of drag shows. There's several pictures of him from different times and different drag shows in different uh, parts of Brazil that, in fact, one of the, uh, he competed in a 2008 drag beauty pageant. He was uh, in drag in the 2005 Pride Parade in, um, in um, Rio de Janeiro. Two of his former acquaintances have come forward about this, and he wanted to be Miss Gay Rio de Janeiro. Now, of course, there's nothing wrong with being a drag queen, but what's interesting is that here we are on Thursday, and as of this morning, Santos, the dog thing, he's kind of trying to ignore that, but the, you know, with stealing money from a, from a homeless vet, but being a drag queen, he's categorically denying that. Oh, no, I was never drag queen. And, you know, I mean, he's openly gay. You'd think that he would just say, yeah, you know, get over it. But no, you can't do that if you're going to be a Republican. This, this, like I said, this tells you everything we need to know about the Republican Party.